Hi y'all, it's me, Queen Doreen, me and my shine. And I apologize for not being here for a few weeks, but we had a few storms to roll around, two in fact, and um, just too much. I hope they're done, but you know, Mother Nature, she's her own boss. But anyway, um, this last one uh, sent us for a loop and needless to say, I mean, let me just say that I, even I was on the roof. <laughs> just a few days ago. That's not happening again. Not ever. Nope. Done. Anyway, uh, we're going to add to that improvisation. You know, we did the five easy steps in the improvisation, and you can roll back on that because these are short, you know, I don't want to take too much of your time. Uh, we're going to do a loop. And for me, because I was calling it a turnaround, but when I looked up turnaround on the, on the internet, you know, they were talking about the chords, you know, the the chord progressions that uh, lead, that bring you from one chord to another, you know, lead you. So, not gonna call it a turnaround, I'll just call it a loop. And it looks like this. And this is the kind of thing you can hold up backward, right? Yay, cause you know me, if it can be held up backwards, I'm gonna do it. So, and that thing, to me, means this, if you're on G, you go up, Back down, under, hence the symbol, which looks like that. Yes? So, now, depends on what key you're in, depends on what kind of effect you want to make, because that can turn into or You can go up a half step, you can go up a whole step, you can come down a half step, go down a whole step. It depends on the effect you want to make. And it depends on the key you're in and, you know, actually it depends on the effect you want to make. So anyway, uh, you want to incorporate that, then you go. Well, first, you want to practice it, just pick a note. Pick another one. And like I said, it could be minor, it could be major, it could be whatever you want, but just pick a note. Right? You want to incorporate it into your music. Say we were playing When the Saints Go Marching In. Right? Okay, you want to incorporate that? Now, you, you don't want to put it on the first note because that's a stumble. Meaning, you don't want to know what's going on. Because you haven't established your, your tempo yet, you haven't established even your melody yet. So you don't want to put it on the first one. And there are a whole bunch of opportunities to put it. I mean, you could, but who wants to do that? Now, uh, I'll just put a few in right quick, just so you can understand. So I'll put it on the second one, for example. <laughs> On the second one, uh, put it on other notes too, like right. I mean, it's just, and sometimes you have to repeat the top note, sometimes you have to make it a little faster, sometimes you have to change the rhythm because you want to make it fit. You understand what I'm saying? Um, a symbol that I can't hold up backwards. Yay! And of course, if you want to donate, feel free. I don't have a paper. I should have had a paper. I would. I hold it up backwards anyway. And you can go back on the other videos and see. Um, and happy holidays, everybody. I hope your Thanksgiving was wonderful. I was. was. Uh, and um, I hope your new year, everybody's new year is so much better than this. But I will be back next week. So all the best to y'all. Love you. Have a great one. Bye-bye.